Hey everybody, T-Shirt Booth here. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create sensor points on an actor. Um, so basically, we're going to go in. What we need to do is we need to find the X and the Y of this actor. So we're going to go in and create a couple attributes. Type real. And I'm going to call the first one players X. And the second one players Y. Now what I'm going to go do is go into this actor, and instead of change attribute, I'm going to use constrain attribute. And what this will do is it'll constantly update those two attributes we just made, um, no matter where the player is in the scene. Um, it's much it's much more efficient than using the the timer uh, behavior. So we're going to go in here, and we're going to tell it to constrain attribute uh, game player x to self position X. And we're going to do one more. Game players Y to self position Y. So basically what it's going to do is no matter where this actor is on the scene, it's going to update our two attributes with its location. And I'm going to go back and now we want to work on the head here. This is going to be the sensor for the head. Um, you won't see it, it's just going to be there, and no matter where this moves, this will move with it. And I've already uh, created an 80 by 80, because it's the size that I need for this image, and you can shrink and enlarge yours to what you need for your character. And what we're going to do is we're going to put in here some more constrain attributes, and we're going to tell it to constrain self position x to game players x and we'll do the same thing for y to game players y now I'll show you what this does no matter where I put this on the scene when I press preview it goes right to the center of this actor. Now it doesn't look center because of the empty space here, but that's that's really the center of this actor image. But we need to put this up here. So I'm going to go back in and we'll go into the head. And we need to adjust it. Now I'm not a magician. I, I, I already know the numbers that I need for this actor. So I'm going to tell it to go plus 20 and plus 90. Now you'll need to fudge your numbers around, keep trying different stuff until you see it um, to where you want it to be. So I'll put this here. I, I, normally you drop it here roughly where you want it, but I'm going to show you um, for an example. I'll put it over here and press preview. And now it's pretty much right over top of the head, right where I need that sensor to be. So I'm going to go back. And now we're going to do the body. So I'm going to go constrain attribute self position x to game players x and constrain attribute again self position y to game players y now I forgot to set the size here. I need this image to be 111 by 169. And for position, I need to be plus 30. And because I want this lower than the player's Y, I'm going to go minus 40. And we'll go back here. And then I'll drag this in here, and you'll see when I press play. Now it puts this here and this here. So no matter where my actor moves, these are going to follow in that exact same position. So we'll go back into here. And let's set them graphics to not visible. And body graphic not visible. Now we'll press preview, and you'll see that they're gone. Now if you watch the score up here, as I hit the head, 100 points. As I hit the body, only 10 points. I can hit the body all day long at 10 points each, but if I get myself a headshot, 
I get a hundred beautiful points for that. And that's pretty much how to set sensor spots on an actor. And if you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the forum, and myself or someone else would be happy to help you. Till next time.